Luke Colwell. Thanks for coming. No worries. We've got mate. another fucking Welshman on, everyone. We're taking over. How many Welsh have we had? Loads, haven't we? Worries. Loads of them. We're taking over. We're taking over. Good. Yeah. How was the drive over decent? Yeah, it was nice. Get uh, a bit closer. Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. The podcast expert, and he's not even uh, <laughs> he's not gobbling the microphone. <laughs> I'm not used to this. So, um, yeah, it was a nice drive. drive. Nice Swansea drive. way. Uh, Swansea, near, uh, near Swansea, Neath. Um, I don't know if you're into your rugby. Beneath. N- no. Um, where I teach tennis is a place called Market Bosworth. Right. And that's a massive sort of... Uh, in the middle of Leicestershire or towards the edge of Warwickshire, they're massive into the rugby. Leicester Tigers is massive there. Yeah. So, yes, I've, I've, I've got friends that have played for the Tigers. Yeah. But n- not really, unless England are playing. If England are playing Wales, yeah. I'm the world's biggest rugby fan. Apart from that, no, not really. Oh, it's mad when you go to the rugby England-Wales. I don't know if you've ever been to an England-Wales. I've never been to a rugby match. No? no. Well, you need to go. Because when you go to football, it's segregated, yes. isn't it? Yes, Everyone fucking hates you. Yes. Sir. All England Wales, even though secretly we're like, oh, I fucking hate you. In that game, in that moment, everyone's drinking together. Yeah. Everyone's having a laugh, win or lose. You know, obviously you want to have the bragging rights, but it's that, it is a better environment, I think. And I love yeah. football. I'm a massive United fan. Are you a Man uh, United fan? Yeah, oh, I'm dear. Game. I'm going to the game tomorrow. So Who um, you got? Uh, Tottenham at home. So I went, I'm a Forest fan. Yeah, I see. And you. I went yeah, to I um, went we'll, to the match. We'll first time, first time we've beaten you in 29 years. <laughs> yeah, we were all to be honest, you were, you were you were awful, and it. Hmm, I'll get hate for this, but it saddens me to see mm. a team that was once so dominant getting beaten by. Look, I'm a Nottingham Forest fan, but I, I'm a realist as well. Yeah, you know, Man United are one of the greatest teams that the planet has ever produced, yeah. and you looked awful. Well. It just goes to show when you've got someone like Johnny Evans as your best player, performing yes. player, yep. who's a 36-year-old, got relegated with Leicester last yep. year, and he's your best centre-half. That just goes to show it all, really. Yeah. But it's frustrating. We, uh, but I grew up, and, and it was the good times. You mm-hmm. know, we, we were winning leagues, we were winning Champions Leagues. Fergie done amazing. And now it's, it's like fucking Sunday League sometimes, you know? Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, we, we nearly had you at your place early on in the season. Yeah. We were two nil up after yeah. ten minutes. And so I, I was shocked that you got rid of Steve Cooper, man. It's been a massive change since he's gone. Is it? I mean, the, I know they've only played they've played four matches now. We lost to Bournemouth his first match, which we got someone sent off in the first ten minutes right. or twenty minutes. So we lost that three two, and then we've beaten Newcastle away. Yeah, we beat you guys, and then we drew with Blackpool. We've got them again today, but it's been a big difference. Just, just in it, it almost looks like the players have been freed up, and they yeah. said, "Look, you you run. We trust you with the ball. It doesn't need to be so compact." So it's been a big difference, mm. but. I think people get to the end of, of what they can offer. Yeah. And uh, it, sometimes just a different message being delivered in a different way all of a sudden makes dramatic changes. Yeah. But um, you've got a decent sized following on TikTok, haven't you? Not bad. And you're podcasting. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I've uh, been doing TikTok for about a year now. Yes. Um, I look back on the 21st videos and I'm like, oh my fucking God, they are awful. But, you know, I'm sort of, my out, the, uh, output, I was speaking before, my output isn't as much as you. I need to increase my output. Um, but obviously I've got my other businesses as well that take priority, but mm-hmm. I do want to increase my, my following and increase my output of videos and get better quality videos as well. Mm-hmm. But my podcast is what I'm most passionate about. So podcast, what's it called? Panic Podcast, yeah. Panic Podcast, what's it on? So it's on Apple Podcast, Spotify. We're on TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, at YouTube. But YouTube's so fucking hard, like to get any traction. Yeah. And I feel sorry for my YouTube um, subscribers because I've gone from Amazon. No. So first of all, it was talking about my life. Then yep. into Amazon. Then I stopped and I done a podcast, a normal podcast. Then I stopped that, and then I went back to Amazon. Now I'm on Panic Podcast, so they, they don't know if they're fucking coming or going. So it's like, I think I need to nail that down. Um, but YouTube's so hard. Yeah. I think it's harder than, than TikTok, personally. Way yeah. harder. Yeah. Wait, well, so, so, I mean, just to sort of reiterate that, when we started this podcast, we've paid three months of rent now. Have we? November, December, January. we paid three months of rent, just paid the last third one. So we've essentially been doing it for two months. Yeah. 
Our TikTok channel is at 13,000 followers. Yeah. Our YouTube channel is at 527. Mm. We've had videos on TikTok, clips from the podcast that have done 1.3, 1.4 million views. Yeah. Our highest viewed video on t YouTube is 1.6K. <laughs> So it is dramatically different. Yeah. It's much harder, but the rewards are much greater. Yeah. So for us, the, the YouTube, that's the, a long-term thing. Like I said to you when you came in here, I'm only going to start judging what we're doing once we've put 100 episodes out. And how long do you think that would take? I reckon we'll have 100 episodes out by the summer. Yeah. For sure. That's Maybe mental. slightly before. Yeah. I need to really... Yeah. It's two a week. I need to do three a week, maybe. Yeah. It's just getting that time. because It, it is, it it's is. Because uh, my studio's in my house. Mm -hmm. It's getting fucking three people in your house mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. I know you can do virtual ones, but they're nah. not half as nope. good. Nope, You know, I would rather, and that's what I said to my, my editor, I said, and um, the girl that runs my socials, I said, we just get local people in that even if they've got 500 following, but they've got a good story, and then that fight, they get pushed a lot harder than mm -hmm. the people that have got 100,000 followers because they don't want their stuff, your stuff, on their For You page, uh, not your For You page, on their grid on Instagram. So, so a lot of the time they don't accept the collaboration. So there's no fucking point even doing the podcast with them because you're not getting that clout from them then. You'd rather get someone that's got an actual really good story there. Yeah. And it means more to them as well. That's a big thing. Like I, I had a girl the other day and we had to do the episode three times because it meant so much to her. She wanted to tell her story. She's never told her story. She hasn't got a big following, but for her to go out and tell her story to me, to a, a, a stranger, mm -hmm. it was a big thing. And, and I understood that. And I